Hello and welcome back to more Fallout 3 the pit DLC and oops no okay apparently there's two quest markers and I'm not sure why oh retrieve your gear and go through okay how do I retrieve my gear cuz um that Chicky didn't really seem interested in talking to me. Unless it's in that locker, which I did I put my shit in there or I don't I don't know. Is this where I'm even supposed to be oh my god. Not really? I I, I don't know. Okay, well. Let's go see. New. No. It's the same locker. No, it's always just opens the same locker. Okay, where's my stuff then? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's my stuff, alright. That's my stuff. And I am going to be... Yep. Alright. <laughs> Let's go through this. Wow, really? It's even better than the power armor right now. And it... <laughs> it weighs just as much, too. Holy... Um... Well, to be honest, I... Let's get rid of that. And radiation suit, like, whatever. Drop that. Holy god. What the fuck do I have that weighs so much other than this? I, I don't know. Which one should I take? Power armor or the shield armor? It has one more DR right now, but... Yeah, whatever. Dude, what... What can I drop? Seriously. Oh, this stuff. Can I not repair these? Question is why would I want to, you know? Assault rifle. Auto axe. Yeah, I uh baseball mat go um wow. Why didn't I do that? Uh flamer. Cannot Hmm. Interesting. Obviously dropping that. Infiltrator. So it just takes 560 or 556 and it takes 556 as well. That's 23 and this is fucking hell. Where is it? 22. It only weighs 7. Oh my god, you know what? You guys don't need to see this, fuck. Okay, now that I finally got that over with, um... No... Yeah, sure. And now uh, we are going to go meet the man himself, Asher. Now, if I can actually figure out where that is... Hopefully it won't be too difficult, or else it would be another fail to add to my long list of fails. Not that that would be surprising at all. Oh, it was that gate that was locked here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go Hello. on in if you're going. You can go back. Thanks. You know, I was, I was just checking. Wait, where does this lead? Hello? 
I don't know why the fuck he scared me so much. I'm just wondering if there's like loot. Guess you earned your ticket out. That's gonna make me heavy, isn't it? Or not. Okay, sure. I'll take it. Take it and go. But yeah, um, <laughs> after playing Borderlands and the like, it's so, like, you run so slow, and I know I need to holster my weapon, but you know, whatever. It's still slow. I'm just kind of staring at that <coughs> picture of that granny there. Um, okay, not sure what's going on there, but, you know. Um... Where am I? You, okay. <coughs> Apparently I have no idea where I am. Lovely. Pit up town. Okay. Are there gonna be any baddies up here and I hope not. I see greenies though. Hello. Get out of my face. Sorry. Oh jeez. No 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 no. I do not want them attacking me, thanks. Feels pretty good to have all my stuff back though, that's pretty nice. Um Though I did feel it was uh, pretty interesting. You know, it's pretty interesting to be this far in the game and then have all your stuff taken away from you. That's kind of puts you out of your element, so to speak, and that's empty. What the fuck? Not interesting. Okay. I didn't say anything to you, per se, but... Okay. Where is this leading me? Holy fuck. Fuggity fug. Um... Why do I get the feeling that I'm... Ahem? No. It's that way. Oh, oh my god. Why am I being such a freaking noob? Like, uh, this is nice. I didn't even notice the quest marker there. Not interested. Alright, well, let's save up and go in. Although, that's probably gonna auto save. Yep. Oh, Asher, where are you? Are you, any of you him? You look too damn friendly for your own good. Elevator. Sure. People in high up places be in high up places, yo. I'll be with you right after I maintain some order and dispense a little justice. And I suppose you'll follow that up by raising the dead. No, but I may heal the infirm later in the week. Time permitting, of course. Sir, we've had sightings of Werner back in the city. And there's been an increase in chatter between slaves. Workers. What? We call them workers. Helps with morale. Reminds them that they might earn their freedom someday. Whatever we call them, they've been gathering makeshift weapons. All right, all right. Put your guards on alert. Tell them to be on the lookout for anyone loitering too long downtown. And keep a watch on Medea at all times. Anything big happens, it's bound to go through her. Now, I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you use the intercom. Yes, sir. Okay, break's over. Uh, okay. 
Off he goes, and hello. Nice work in the hole, New Blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal workers. So that begs the question, who are you? And what are you doing in my city? I heard the pit was building an army. I'm here to join. It's complicated. How about we just say I'm new in town and looking for work? I'm the hero who's going to kill you and free the slaves. Right. Is that talking about the slave army or his army? Because, um... I think that'll appeal to him. As long as that's not meaning the slave army, you know? You heard right. And after a show like that, how could I refuse someone of your talents while the rest of the world scrambles to survive? We have an army, industry, and thanks to a recent surprise, we've got no need to fear radiation. Oh? But we do have a few loose ends that still need tied up. Tell me, do you know a man named Werner? Uh, fuck. And my charisma is minus one because of my fucking helmet. Shit, why didn't I think of that before I talked to him? I don't know, this... I feel like this is gonna make him, like, really suspicious. Alright. Ever since the city was scourged, we've done what everyone does. Whatever's necessary to survive. I know my city seems barbaric to you, but it's the only way we can carve out a home in this hellhole, and it's kept these people alive. But that's enough stalling for time. So do you know Werner? Damn it. I thought maybe if I talked about something else he would forget it, but apparently not. Uh, I'm not liking the chances of that one. Then you know he's not to be trusted. He escaped after a failed coup, and I believe he's working with the slaves to plan a revolt. You know the slaves, and you've met Werner, so you're in a prime position to put an end to him. Do that, and I'll make you a lieutenant in my army. Uh, sure. But I don't know, like, the reason I want to say sure is because, you know, I want to earn his trust and then go behind his back and get the medicine or whatever the fuck, the cure. But if I accept this, is the game going to interpret that as me turning my back on Werner? I don't know. That's what I wanted to hear! You've got a bright future ahead of you in the pit, new blood. In fact, I'd like to let you in on a little secret and show you the amazing advance that'll secure yes. our place in the wasteland. Now I think would be a good time for you to meet the cure for yourself. Let's take a trip back to the lab where Sandra can explain. Don't let me keep you. Don't let me keep you. Okay, well... Okay, stop saying that. Well, where is she? Mm, derp. Damn it, I'm on my way. Just head back and talk to Sandra. Who She'll is explain Sandra, all about the and why am I so heavy? Okay, yeah, I need to drop something. Eh. Uh, I honestly, I'm not gonna ever use the flamer. Like seriously. Then you'll see why you have to put an end to work. Where is Sandra? I don't. Oh, okay. Okay, now I get a quest freaking marker. Sorry. <sighs> okay, she's not far at all. Apparently. Hello? Oh, Asher told me you might be coming here. But I'm afraid I was preoccupied. Little Marie here is an angel, but she can still be a handful. I'm Sandra. Asher set me up here to work on the pit's medical research, and Marie here is our daughter. A what? A miracle, really. Asher has a daughter? 
Pardon me, but Lord Asher said you could show me some sort of cure. I don't care about your spawn. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling. Okay, sure. Oh, I hate it when he calls her that. I swear, it's a terrible thing to call his own daughter. What? She's... The... What? The baby is the cure? Kidnap the baby and leave, or leave without the baby. Wait, you mean she has a natural and transferable immunity of some sort? Well, this is a nice surprise. Apparently you and Asher are the only other people who know anything about science in this place. Yes, it seems that our daughter was born with a naturally acquired immunity to any form of mutation. It's nothing short of a miracle, honestly. I'm still hmm. trying to figure out why, but she may just hold the key to stopping the Pitts trog problem. Hell, maybe other types of mutations too. Aren't you worried about hurting Marie? Oh no, these tests are perfectly safe. In fact, between the crib and her uncanny health, she's probably the safest child in the world. Asher and I would never risk her health. And if that means it takes longer to develop a full cure, then, well, everyone else can wait. Mm, if there's anything I can do, just let You're me know. Oh dear, but things are well in hand here. If you really want to help, you should probably go deal with whatever had Asher rushing off in such a hurry. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to take care of one last test before Marie's nap time. Okay. Well... Damn it. Oh man, what do I do? I can't... How do I get out of here with a baby in my hand? You know? I'm afraid I'm very busy, so okay. why don't you go help Asher, okay? Sure. Why does it want me to... Oh, because I can leave without the baby. Fuck. Was that my only chance to get the baby? Like, telling her that I'm gonna take Marie? Or can I just take her myself? Hello, baby. I forget. Ah, fuck. I'm so bad at these. <gasps> All right. Let's look at these. Diary one to Marie. One, two. Looks like this thing is gone. Marie, if you're there, this is your father speaking. Ishmael Asher. Sometimes called Lord of the Pit. Now, I hope you're hearing this ten years from now. Sitting on my knees safe and sound. Right about now. I bet I'm looking pretty silly. But things don't always work out the way we'd like. There are a lot of risks. Including what your mother would do if she heard me talking like this. And I'm not about to risk leaving you alone without knowing where you came from. These tapes are for you. So you can know who your father really was. 